we will briefly introduce the concept of logic gates. Logic gates are devices that take in inputs, perform logical operations on them, and produces a singular output. They can be created in the physical world by abstracting physical processes as inputs and outputs and using the physical laws of nature to perform the computation. The processors in your computer perform calculations using electronic logic gates. However, there is nothing special about electricity or silicon that makes them unique in performing logical operations. For example, fluid dynamics, gravity, mechanics, and even pneumatics can also be used to simulate logic. Logic is abstract, and the only thing limiting you from representing it in the real world is your imagination. For practical purposes, some ground rules need to be laid out regarding the requirements for something to be called a logic gate. If a device always returns the same type of output regardless of inputs, it is not performing conditional logic. It is instead blindingly overwriting the inputs. In this video, we will consider the following restrictions. Firstly, every input is treated equally. No one input is distinguishable from the other. Secondly, all input and output signals can only exist in two states, and we arbitrarily call them true and false or on and off. A logic gate therefore, in a sense, maps out the associated truth table to the permutations of its inputs. From the premises we said previously, we can deduce some useful properties for all logic gates. Firstly, a gate that takes in n inputs will consider the following cases. All inputs are false, one input true, two inputs true, and so on till it reaches n inputs true. Therefore, n plus 1 cases are considered. There are two possible states for that output, and because every case is matched to its own output, the number of possible unique truth tables is 2 to the power of n plus 1. Remove the tautology and contradiction tables, and we deduce that an n input gate has 2 to the power of n plus 1 minus 2 possible variations. A unary gate will either flip or repeat the input. We will not consider repeating inputs because otherwise, even the wires between gates would be repeating gates. It's not a useful concept. Also, repeating is not considered a Boolean function that leaves only one possible type of unary gate, the NOT gate. Following the formula, there are six unique binary gates, AND, OR, exclusive OR, NOT AND, not OR, exclusive NOT OR. We will go through the six binary gates and the unary gate. Red means 0, green means 1. Inputs are labeled A and B. The output is on the right. AND gates only output when both inputs are present. OR gates output when any input is present. NOT gates invert the signal. Exclusive OR gates output when both inputs are different. Made by chaining NOT and AND gates, NOT AND gates outputs as long as both inputs are not simultaneously present. Made by chaining NOT and OR gates, NOT OR gates outputs only when both inputs are absent. Made by chaining NOT and exclusive OR gates, the exclusive NOR gate outputs when both inputs are the same. We will now introduce the binary number system. In everyday life, we use the base 10 numeral system. But the only reason that 10 is the base was because we had 10 fingers total on both hands, and it was very intuitive. In computing, a base 2 system is used instead for numerous reasons. Early computing switches could only hold two states. Binary signals are not ambiguous. Any pattern can be represented in patterns of bits. We use the place value system to represent numbers of any base. Let us consider the number 2014. We split the numerals and note that each numeral 
corresponds to a power of the base, in this case powers of 10. Powers start from zero. The numerals act as the coefficients of the corresponding base powers in a polynomial. Adding the terms up gives you the final number 2040. This is how numbers are represented in the decimal system. Now for binary, consider the binary number 10101. As before, split the bits, map them to the corresponding powers of the base 2, form the polynomial expression, and simplify. 10101 in binary is 21. It helps to compare how decimal and binary notations change with reference to the same number they're expressing. Observe. Start from 0. Both bases unlock the 0th power position. Base 2 unlocks the first power position. Base 2 unlocks the second power position. Base 2 unlocks the third power position. Base 10 unlocks the first power position. Base 2 unlocks the fourth power position. We have made a simple logic gate using common household materials. It can simulate AND and OR gates. The physical laws we exploit are gravity, air pressure, and fluid dynamics. The gate uses a siphon and liquid storage to work its logic. Simplified diagrams of the two stable states of the siphon gates are shown here. When the water level is negligible, it is considered empty. When the water level is just below the inverted U-bend, it is considered full. Inputs and outputs are in volumes of water, where one volume is the amount of water needed to bring the gate from empty to full. The gate accepts two inputs. One input carries one volume of water. The single output is either on, where two volumes of water are discharged through the siphon, or off, where no water is discharged. Recall that once the liquid level passes the inverted U-bend in the siphon, the liquid is drained out through the siphon till the liquid level drops below the start of the siphon. The full OR gates can only receive up to two inputs. Any more will cause multiple outputs. Empty siphon gates simulate AND gates since two inputs are required to trigger the siphon output. Full siphon gates simulate OR gates since any input would trigger the siphon output. Since the water storage holds a state, circuits containing these gates must be reset after each calculation. We now demonstrate the homemade siphon gate and show the above properties. This is an empty siphon gate. It acts as an AND gate. The AND gate has received one input. This is also the full gate and acts as an OR gate. The AND gate has received its second input. The OR gate has received one input. The water starts draining from the siphon, simulating output. The output has finished and the gate is back in the empty state. Using the dual state siphon gates we have demonstrated, we built a circuit to generate the square roots of 4 bit integers, with the result rounded down to the nearest integer. The starting setup of the circuit is shown. Inputs go in the top, the outputs come out of the bottom. Place one input into the top row gates with labels corresponding to the correct place values of the binary number. Consider the input 6, which is 110 in binary. We add inputs to the corresponding gates as listed. You will have noticed GO labels. They are to be activated every calculation. Their purpose is to allow easy resetting of the circuits. Resetting will be covered later. 
After all inputs are entered and the water stops flowing, one container of each container pair at the bottom row will be filled. Follow the labels to determine the result. An output of 3 is 1-1 one, one in binary and is represented by the second and fourth containers being filled. To reset the circuit for recalculation, apply the inverse inputs. Apply water to the reset inputs as well. The circuit should return to its original state. In the first of three demonstrations, we will compute the square root of 1. In binary, 1 in the 1's place, 0 in the 2's place, 0 in the 4's place, and 0 in the 8's place. The 2's place is 0, so we activate the corresponding gate. The ones place is 1, input accordingly. The fourth place is 0, input accordingly. Input go for calibration. The eighth place is 0, input accordingly. Input go for calibration. The ones place for the answer is 1. The twos place of the answer is 0. The answer is 0, 1 in binary, which is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. In the second demonstration, we will compute the square root of 4. In binary, 0 is in the 1's place, 0 in the 2's place, 1 in the 4's place, and 0 in the 8's place. The 1's place is 0, so we activate the corresponding gate. The 2's place is 0, input accordingly. The 4's place is 1. Input accordingly. Input go for calibration. The eighth place is zero. Input accordingly. Input go for calibration. The ones place of the answer is zero. The two's place of the answer is 1. The answer is 1, 0 in binary, which is 2. The square root of 4 is 2. In the final demonstration, we will compute the square root of 9. In binary, 1 in the 1's place, 0 in the 2's place, 0 in the 4's place, and 1 in the 8's place. The two's place is zero, so we activate the corresponding gate. The one's place is one, input accordingly. The four's place is zero, input accordingly. Input go for calibration. The eight's place is one. Input go for calibration. The one's place of the answer is one. The 1's place is 1, input accordingly.